good evening. It's Carmen with Crafting at Carm. If you can't tell, I'm home, but I don't know what's going on with the webcam. It was still not right. I messed with it for a little bit. So we're going to go back to old school, and I'm just going to use my phone. There are a few things I want to tell you tonight. i um, going to wait a second and see if I can get my live feed to pop up on my Kindle here so I can see what's going on. But uh, I hope you've all had a great week. Ah, hello, Kim. Nice to see you tonight. I've got a few things to talk about. Um, let's see if I can pop on. Nope, I don't want that. Anyway, I am at home this evening and just got back from seeing my child and did some on stage things. So I'm going to flip the camera around here and show you what I've got. So, okay, so I went to on stage online and I've not actually got to watch all of it yet. But uh, I got these cute little stickers that I haven't decided what I'm going to do with yet. Stampin' Up! does thicker stickers. I don't, you can hear it. So this is like kind of something that you would get in our paper pumpkins. But they gave us all these fun things. And this is kind of a clue to some of the things that are going to be in the new catalog. So that'll start in January. But I want to show you a couple other things. So this is something that was in the new catalog. This is what I did while I was at my child's house. Oh, didn't get this undone yet. But I want to show you some oofs, just so you can kind of see how to fix them. Okay, so even Stampin' Up! demonstrators get ink on their cards every once in a while. So I got this card all done, all put together. This is a new stamp set and a new punch and some new papers that are going to be coming out. And as you can see, I had uh, some ink on my fingers. So how I'm going to solve this problem, this butterfly punch right here that you see, uh, it has a little butterfly. And so my little butterfly is going to go right there. Might have to trim off its wings a little bit and cover up my punch. So when you've got some things that uh, you need covered up, just use an embellishment. The other thing I wanted to show you tonight was uh, when we talked about uh, the pictures I was taking last time. I talked about balance and lighting and I'm not, I haven't got permission from that certain child to show you the pictures yet, but uh, I just thought I'd show you. So this is an old paper pumpkin kit, but I balanced the big white words on this side with the uh, Ferris wheel on this side. And then try to do things in triangles. So I've got my stars in a triangle. And then this one does a triangle this way too. So odd numbers and triangles are always good when you're making cards. It makes your eye flow around. So I just thought I'd show you that. And then my husband might call it hoarding. And I do have a lot of... I do have a lot of uh, extra stuff sitting around. But... This is from a new set that I'm in love with. I uh, haven't used it a lot yet, but it is really cute. It's called Cute Fruit. It was in our annual catalog. Um, actually, it's in the beginner uh, brochure. But you can even make your uh, fruit have a mustache. Anyway, there's this banana in here, and there's some great sayings. Wishing you a slide of happiness, couldn't ask for a sweeter thing, and you're one in a melon. So it's fun to play with, but I had this old piece of banana from mm, the tropical uh, 
Memories in More Pack. And look how well the banana works. So those were just some things I wanted to show you tonight. And if you become a demonstrator, you can do the next on stage thing. Um, they're going to hope to have in-person ones the next time, but there's supposed to be one in 2001 in 2001, 2021 in Chicago. So sign up to be a demonstrator. You can come with, to Chicago with me and we can see all the new stuff first. So hope you've had a good evening watching. Remember, triangles, odd numbers, and even demonstrators oof. And there's always way to cover your oofs. Have a nice evening.